Today we're gonna debunk what is actually happening with Shiba Inu. Stick till the end of the video because I'm gonna talk about where the price is gonna to get to, why you should tread with caution, and why it remains still nevertheless quite bullish. Let's go. Okay, Shiba Inu is down 6% today, but in the last seven days, we are up some almost 200 plus percent from where the week began. Yes, it is certainly crazy at the moment. So where is this all coming from? Well, it's coming from smart money, sophisticated money. So whales are actually bringing money in. So on Monday evening alone, an anonymous crypto whale purchased 276.6 billion Shiba Inu coins for about $11.5 million. Citing data from whale stats, the transaction put the investors total holdings in Shiba Inu coin at 316.5 billion, worth about $15 million. So he already had about three and a half million dollars, but he's actually bought more on Monday evening, which is quite crazy. So what is a smart money thing? Well, in any sort of risky market, smart money is big money, right? So we assume that big money is there because they're smart. They have some sort of knowledge about the actual asset class itself. That's why they're jumping into it. So let's actually dive into Shiba and look at where it stands. So in the last week, if, for example, Shiba had Dogecoin's market cap, it'll have to be worth $0.000071 each. We're obviously above that, so it's already flippened out of Dogecoin. And so that's that's a really interesting metric. Now, if we go down, though, on the list, and if uh, we look at Shiba is in the top 10 cryptocurrencies in the world, it's already bigger than Dogecoin. Now, there are people that expect Shiba coin to actually get as big as potentially Cardano, which is, again, 64%. So now think about the risk reward ratio, guys. If you got into Shiba coin today, you're not actually in Shiba at the moment, you got into Shiba coin today, you're literally coming after a 64% gain, provided that it does go up to the Cardano's market cap level. It, it is very much possible that that will happen, but my suggestion is, well, is it is it really worth it if you're really getting into it right now? Could you find other crypto gems that could actually do that a lot easier and a lot a lot quicker as well? This channel, we normally talk about investing and we, and we put our eyes on, you know, what has use case and things like that. What I've learned though through Shiba is that we got to keep an open mind. That's what investors should have. So that our ultimate objective is actually to make more money, not necessarily, you know, have preference over certain shares or certain, you know, asset classes because we're emotionally attached to them. Rather, we should actually look at it with a cold head so that we're not closing any unnecessary doors on things that may have a huge potential to go as well. So Shiba right now is a coin that has a massive community behind it. And you know, there's, there's big money that is coming into it as well, smart money that's coming into it as well, which is quite significant. So what even is Shiba coin? It's an Ethereum based token that has risen in popularity this year, largely because of dog themed ecosystems, speculation on its price by retail investors and strong community engagement. The official Sheep Twitter account, for example, has over 1.2 million followers more than leading crypto companies such as Cardano, Kraken and Solana. So what it means is that it does nothing. It's just really popular for absolutely no reason whatsoever. Now, if we look at the Shiba Inu tokenomics, right, it's really interesting. The supply used to be, I think, one trillion. So there's actually a good 40% of it that actually has been burned. And that's actually a really important part of the story. Part of the reason why Shiba Inu is growing so quickly as well. So it's really important that we look at the tokenomics and see what the heck is actually happening. See this account that says 0x dead 0000. So that was actually burned. So that's been taken out of the supply and so and there's continual burning of the supply and Vitalik Buterin is actually behind that which I'll dig into a bit later in the video, so stay tuned, guys. We can see all these addresses here that own Shiba, and you know it's important to identify that not only are they wells, but a lot of them are exchanges, or they need to have them so that people are able to trade them too. What's really interesting also on this particular website that I came across is all the top tokens owned by the same people as Shiba Inu. So these Shiba Inu people, you know, they own X Shiba. I'm thinking some sort of wrapping on different um, blockchains, and obviously they a lot of them own Kishu Inu, Akira Inu, Doge Killer. Polygon, Doge Elon Mars, Ethereum Max, which is a huge meme coin, Fag Token likewise as well, Uniswap. So these are the top coins owned by, um, you know, owned by Sheep Whales, which is really, really interesting. And so that could be your alternative gains that maybe has a, a greater potential for growth as we see Shiba Inu as an indicator, but more on that a bit later in the video as well, okay? So just, yeah, looking down the list of all the top Shiba token holders, you know, crypto.com leads the way. We've got Binance, we've also got Huobi, we've got Gates, you know, all the, other than that, it's really interesting to see these top holders hold a lot of Shiba tokens. You can actually search these wallets as well to see how, see what kind of other tokens these whales are buying and holding 
as well. So, all right, another little indicator here, we can actually see the relationship between the Shiba number of mentions on social media, right, and the price as well. So as soon as there's a spike, then that gives rise to more people talking about the Shiba token, which is what gives rise to a massive bullish movement that will obviously follow because this is a community-based token, guys. Right now, here are the support levels. I really found this support level to be very, very um, helpful because it's not very binary, but it's actually more of a spectrum. So harder that red line is, the stronger the support is. And right now, we actually don't have much support or resistance where we are. But obviously, we can we can identify some of them and you know trade to our strengths um, to to the support and resistances. Uh, if that is how you trade. All right, looking a bit further down, this bit here, this black hole is the burn right here. So a lot of it was burned and, and Vitalik was behind that. So let's actually talk about that right now. So Vitalik Buterin has burned 90% of Shiba Inu tokens in his possessions according to transaction data from Ethereum. The total sum amounts of approximately $6 billion uh, worth. Buterin will donate the remaining 10% to another charity that is aimed at preventing large scale loss of life from the COVID-19 pandemic. And I'm pretty sure that was donated to, uh, I think, large parts of India. So that was actually extremely helpful. Helpful, But when it did happen, it didn't actually increase the price of Shiba that much. So tokenomics is one thing. But one way for the community to, to react strongly to it is to actually have a bigger community. Back then, Shiba community wasn't as big, clearly. That's why the price, I strictly remember actually reporting on this burn that Vitalik Buterin did. And I strictly remember it didn't have such a crazy impact onto the actual market itself. Now, speaking of news that actually impacts the Shiba token price is obviously it's listing onto the Robinhood exchange. Now, Robinhood has said they don't want it, but here it is, Shiba token, there's a petition going on at the moment. More than 400,000 people have signed uh, and that's a huge engagement um, to come in, put their name in there and say, hey, yo, I want Shiba token to be listed on Robinhood because we all know what happens when cryptocurrencies list on Robinhood is that as soon as it lists, there's going to be a huge, a big pool of money that's, you know, from regular people and a lot of it is leveraged as well. So there's a, there's a huge significant portion of money that's going to come into the market and therefore drive the demand of this coin up very strongly. So there's no reason why, why Robinhood wouldn't be saying yes to this, but because look at these reports here from Jan 2021 to April, the amount of money that they make in crypto has increased by 4,560% to $233 million in second quarter up from 5 million in the same period last year. Equities trading revenue, meanwhile, dropping by 26% to 52 million versus 71 million. As a result, equity share of the revenue shrank to 12% from 38%. That's a significant chunk right there. So Robinhood is already making a lot of money from crypto traders, and it does make crypto trading a lot more accessible for those people who don't know how to use, you know, MetaMask and wallets and you know blockchain technology. It's actually so much easier for them to have exposure to this particular market. So it's interesting why they wouldn't do it, but their point is quite fair. They say we're hearing from customers that they want more coins listed. We get it. CFO Jackson Warnick said during the earnings conference call, he said, we're being, you know, very mindful and diligent in this space. It's evolving from a regulatory perspective. There's been a number of questions raised by coins and other platforms being potentially unregistered securities. That's all SEC bullshit, you know, with Ripple and all that kind of stuff. He also added that it's the right timing, not just for shareholders and for the company, but also for customers to make sure that we, you know, apply the same kind of diligence to any new coins. We do hear our customers and they want more features. And so we're going to be working, you know, as best as we can with the right balance of safety and compliance to make sure that we don't make missteps here. They don't want to piss off the authorities by offering these, well, what we used to call shit coins. And we still do call them shit coins because it doesn't have any potential utility. But now there is, there are ways that the cryptocurrency is being, I guess, utilized. We've seen the coin burn, for example, you know, they see that, you know, if you look at the tokenomics, that the fact that they're buying into an asset class where there's going to be, you know, cuts into the supply of it, then obviously, you know, simple economics of supply and demand is going to take over that where there is reduced supply and even the demand stays the same, the reduction in supply then pushes the price up, okay? Coin burn, just really quickly, I will explain what it is. It's a process where the miners and developers remove the coin from circulation. In other words, you're just basically burning them. It's a process of destroying the coin so that it's not available for further use, trading or otherwise. The developers and miners will send the coins to a specialized address whose private keys are not accessible. Further, they will provide proof of burn algorithm to the market to facilitate cross verification. So that's what burn is. But not only that, if you actually go to the website, the community and the ecosystem is becoming so big that if you actually read the what's called a wolf paper, not white paper, you can actually have related coins that you can purchase with it. And having sheep will actually give you access to purchasing these other coins as well. Not only that, 
We also have some NFT and art space that's coming in as well, which is very, very significant at the moment. You know, NFTs are going absolutely crazy. I think today CryptoPunks or something that looks like a CryptoPunk was sold for $534 million. That's half a billion dollars today for one JPEG, which is absolutely crazy. So it looks like the enterprise that is Shiba Inu has enough community engagement to be able to evolve what they're doing into a use case. And that's gonna become extremely, extremely powerful. So let's have a look at what the whales are doing with Shiba Inu right now. So this is the analysis of the top thousand Ethereum wallets, okay? Can I just tell you the significance behind that is that each wallet has on average 37 thousand ethereums not thirty seven thousand dollars worth of ethereum but thirty seven ethereum tokens or coins ethereum coins that is on average of 164 million dollars per wallet of how much ethereum these guys have and we're looking at the top thousand whales now if there's any information that you're going to have access to in this cryptocurrency market i think this is the golden honeypot right here so most common erc20 holding is omg which is also interesting the biggest erc20 holding is shiba a lot of people are holding shiba nine a whopping nine percent of the holders are holding shiba now here is something really really interesting guys okay so here is a screenshot of that same graph from my phone yesterday okay yesterday and look we can see that shiba is being held by more than 17 percent of the whales okay now compare it with today the whales have gotten rid of a lot of their Shiba tokens. And that's not just by percentage, we're also looking at their dollar figure as well. So 940 million, now down to 486. Okay, so that's about half gone. The whales are getting rid of it, guys. Now that does that isn't to say that it's not gonna come back, right? It may come back. The whales may then, you know, then dump it for a while and then come back into the market when everybody is, you know, out of the market, you know, type of thing. Once the price dumps, they'll then re-enter and, and really just test out the community by engaging into this dumping mechanism, if you like, by the whales. So what I do is I just follow them as closely as possible. But there's also other great coins that you can see from yesterday and today. For example, OK Beam is 469, let's say million here, it's 300, 430, about the same here as well. Bid has actually increased and more people are actually buying Bit as well. So why wouldn't you consider buying more Bit down? And you know, the proportion actually has, has flipped out on OK Bit as well, which is interesting. CRO is riding steady at 230, uh, is that 56? And then we got 59 on the actual current, you know, live data as well. This is, this is actually live data, which is really, really helpful. I mean, this is your cheat sheet to cryptocurrency portfolio design, right? Because this is how you're gonna be able to then, you know, replicate a portfolio where it is destined to make money, guys. So what are the risks of then investing into coins like Shiba? Well, all coins like Shiba are primarily community-based, meaning their success is largely dependent on the success and the growth of its community instead of its utility. It's commenting on the fact that Shiba has no utility, but is that so? Could there be further utility for Shiba right now? And you know what? If the community aspect is strong, then could we then expect growth out of that? My answer is why not? Certainly, the whales definitely contribute to it. And on that note, I'd like to mention some of these other interesting coins as well. We've got KCoin, right? Which people believe is a sleeping giant. So in the last month, it looks like, yeah, it's, it's, it's mooning as well. And everybody thinks this is a bit of a sleeper as well. And, and people are jumping into it. I don't know if I can trust them because there's like a little exclamation mark there, but that's another coin where the community is building very, very quickly. And we're looking at Cat Girl as well, which has done so bloody well, 53% in the last 24 hours. We're seeing signs of Hashiba has been behaving in the last couple of weeks. Um, so my suggestion is, you know, if you want to then engage in these sort of investing activities, then be my guest. One thing that I suggest you also look at is if you go to these top 10 Shiba wallets and just do a bit of a research, the least you can do, right, is just copy some of these wallet addresses or just click into it. And then we can actually see what kind of coins they hold, what kind of activities they're doing, the transfers of what kind of coins they've got is definitely possible. So let's have a look at, you know, portfolio analysis. Actually, that website doesn't work. So I'm just gonna go to ethvm, so ethvm.com. And we're gonna whack in this wallet address to see what is actually happening. So we're gonna ERC20 tokens. And we're gonna see what kind of tokens this person has. Let's hope that it loads in time. Okay, USD value, highest to lowest, Shiba Polygon Chainlink. So yeah, this guy's generally a pretty smart investor, you know, just by looking at the type of coins that he is investing into. Yeah, so even two hours ago, he's actually added more Shiba Inu, which is really interesting. They're also buying a lot of Vera, as you can see, Chainlink, they're buying more of that. 
they're selling Aave and StormX, which is interesting to see as well. So go and study across these things and see what people are actually doing. And understand that this is just one address. So maybe you want to look at the top, you know, top 10 addresses. It's part of your research to then identify what's actually happening in the general market or make use of websites like, you know, whale stats to see where the movement is. You know, take note of these numbers today and then, you know, record it. And then the day after compare the, the statistics, watch how the whales move money in and out of the market, guys. Thank you so much for tuning into today's video. That's my take on Shiba Inu. Hope it goes to the moon. All the best to you guys who are invested into Shiba. And I wish you all the very best and safe trading. Peace.